also have Viviane Araujo against Karini Silva. And Silva feels like the next, possibly at 125 here. She is a big favorite. Uh, Viviane is certainly uh, well-known uh, at this weight class and somebody that, that I think we respect uh, in the betting market. Although there's not a lot of num- numbers here showing her respect. 280 is on the Silva side here. Maddie, do you think Karini is for real? And if so, might be able to make this fight uh, quicker than going to a judge's scorecard. Yeah, this is this is my fe- my female Shavkat Rachmanov. Karina Silva, eight wins by knockout, nine wins by submission. Basically was identical numbers as Shavkat. 17 finishes, no decision wins. Then she goes out and wins by decision in her last fight. So now it's kind of, to me, like a buy low spot on the finish for her. Like she goes out and gets a decision in her last fight. But other than that, she is just putting away everybody. Knee bars, darts chokes, guillotines. I know it's a lower level competition, but she's a finisher in women's MMA. Uh, so I'm going to go right back to it here off of a decision. I think it's a perfect spot. Um, I'm just going to lock in the sub here. Uh, I know Vivi, I don't think has been submitted before, but if you look at who she's fighting, she's not fighting the highest level submission artists. I mean, I think she fought Alexa Grasso, who was like two career yep. subs. She's fighting, you know, Natalie, Natalia Silva, who's fights off her back foot and doesn't really go for any submission. I mean, I just don't think, you know, again, I don't think she's fought the level of competition that's looking directly for submission. So I'm going to throw out the fact that she's never been subbed and, and take the submission here for Silva at plus 350. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking back, and you look back at Viviani's wins, and they're all decisions. I mean, that's the thing. Yeah. She's, she's not getting anybody out of there. So I wonder if she's looking to survive this fight against Karini Silva. Uh, Kyle, I didn't get there uh, officially. I love that Maddie's found a nice plus money on the fighter that's seven years younger, right, and does have a lot of finishes, whether it's by submission or by KO. Uh, no official play for me, but uh, is, there, is there a pathway to victory for Araujo, or do you think this is all one side and the Silva side? Uh, well, I, I think experience and volume, you sort of look at that Alexa Grasso fight you mentioned a couple years ago, what, two and a half, what, two years ago, almost two years ago to the date, 126 significant strikes landed in that fight, five round decision loss to Alexa Grasso. Again, not, I don't think she's the sort of, you know, ground specialist that Karina Silva is. I just felt like, so I guess if you're going to take Arujo, that's the only way it's going to be by decision. You hope it's volume. She's able to stuff takedowns and sort of frustrate her on her feet. I couldn't get there in this one. I figured I thought about maybe the under if you like if you like it maybe Silva slips up going it for a sub, but I could just see myself screaming, put her away and Vivian Arujo is just too good, <laughs> too experienced. Every one of her fights except for her UFC debut, every single one of them going all the way back to 2019 yeah. has been a decision, either a win or a loss. She's usually somewhere in the range of 80 to 90 significant strikes. Her last two have kind of been, like her last three actually he boss Maya and Silva, 46, 24, and 26. So that's why it's hard to get there. You know, I like finding these underdogs where it's going to be close and get them by decision. I love that stuff. But yeah, it's just hard. Point. It's just really hard to get there. <laughs> Even when you look at, when you just look at Karina Silva's, you know, her decision win, she only landed 27 seven significant strikes, but she controlled yeah. eight and a half minutes of the fight. And I can see a lot of that happening. Uh, and her submission wins, so 30 strikes landed in the first round, and then you submit them. You also get a knockdown, so that's, God, could she knock her out as well? There's all the upsides there with Silva, but I couldn't get there with the prize. I had to stay away. You know, I do think, though, that if you're going to see this fight being stopped, I, I, it, she might be so hard, to your point, Kyle, to knock out Viviane that maybe that submission play that Maddie's got is the right way to go, right? That yeah. you, You're going to have to choke her out uh, to finish this thing on the ground. So that's where the, the submission prop comes in nicely at plus 350 with a woman who's really tough to get out uh, in the Araujo side. So that's where Maddie has turned a big favorite into a big plus money play. Is that the second leg of your uh, cycle parlay? It is not. Oh, Ooh. shit. I forgot oh. to tell you, it's Jim fucking Miller, baby. Oh, <laughs> it's Jim Can Miller. Tag, is that, that going to be like the tag on our social media? You know what? Are we allowed to do that even? I don't know if we are. If, but if I Jim Miller that. wins by knockout this weekend, I could lose every other bet on the board. That's the only one I want to hit. I'm going to go big on that. I'm going to Hard Rock literally tomorrow. I'm going to watch the fights there. I just want to see Jim Miller win by knockout. It would make my weekend. I'm, going, I'm going big on it. My last leg of the submission lay is, or the submission, yeah. The my last leg of the cycle lay is the submission, 
it's towards the end of the night. You can probably okay. guess. Well, I, I won't tell you. We'll wait oh, till we, we get got, there. But that's the second leg then. Just, just so everybody knows, it's going to be the very yeah. first fight of the night. They're going to go by decision uh, to kickstart this fight card. And then you're going to go with Jim Miller by KO. That's the second leg. The submission is still coming. It's not Silva here. That is an official play at plus 350. But that does not round out the cycle parlay for Maddie just yet. 